So I'm a 78 year old man, history of hypertension, coronary artery disease, depression, oncitalopram, admitted two days ago with a septic shock, secondary to vancomycin resistant enterococcus, now develops acute agitation, hyperthermia, diaphoresis, and inducible clonus. What would be your next step in management? Would you give Haldol, five milligrams IM, stop the antibiotic, give ciproheptidine, or consult neurology? All right, so 35% said the stopped antibiotic, several said cyptoheptidine, and we'll talk more about this here shortly. So I think most of you guys realize that this was serotonin syndrome, so the Hunter criteria helps us diagnose serotonin syndrome, and based, that's all based on three different things. So motor hyperactivity, either they're gonna have clonus, whether it's spontaneous or inducible, they'll have tremor, rigidity, autonomic instability, so they tend to be febrile, hypertensive, tachycardic, tachypnic, and then they have some sort of change in their alter ment their mental status. So they're either super anxious, agitated, confused, sometimes with a coma. The drugs that we commonly see this with is SSRIs, most of our antidepressants, as this patient was on. Treatment would be stop the offending drug, and I'll talk about that in the next slide, and what would be this patient's drug that we would stop. We would treat supportively with benzodiazepines. If it's severe, so if the patient's really um, febrile, so over 40, spontaneous clonus. This patient had um, inducible clonus, so we had to elicit it. And if they're super rigid, then we would often give ciproheptidine, which is a serotonin antagonist. And so the common things that we overlook that cause serotonin syndrome, so something such as fentanyl, which we use commonly in most of our hospitals, even St. John wort, which is an over-the-counter agent, lithium toxicities, which we see in the ICU, and then the thing here was linazolid. So this patient had vancomycin resistant enterococcus, so most likely on linazolid, and given that he was already on SSRI, that those two things really increase his risk of being uh, for serotonin syndrome. So you would stop that agent, treat supportively. If he got worse, then you would consider maybe ciproheptidine at that point, but 